Explanation of the Script AWS Template Format Version, September 9, 2010, specifies the version of the AWS CloudFormation Template Format being used. Resources This section defines the AWS resources that will be created or managed by the CloudFormation Template. A. My VPC defines an AWS Virtual Private Cloud VPC named My VPC. Type AWS EC2 VPC specifies the type of resource as an EC2 VPC. Properties defines the configuration properties for the VPC. Sitter block specifies the CIDR block IP address range for the VPC. Enable DNS support specifies whether DNS support is enabled for the VPC. Enable DNS host names specifies whether DNS host names are enabled for the VPC. For CRUD operations on the stack, you can use the same commands provided in previous responses. Here's a recap. Create the CloudFormation stack. Bash. Copy code. AWS CloudFormation create stack. Stack name my VPC stack. Template body file colon double forward slash VPC dash template YAML. Read details of the stack. Bash. Copy code. AWS CloudFormation describe stacks. Stack name my VPC stack. Update the CloudFormation stack. Bash. Copy code. AWS CloudFormation update stack. Stack name my VPC stack. Template body file colon double forward slash updated dash VPC dash template. YAML. Delete the CloudFormation stack. Bash. Copy code. AWS CloudFormation delete stack. Stack name my VPC stack. An analogy for this setup could be likened to constructing a private neighborhood or community. The VPC acts as the boundary or perimeter of the neighborhood, defining the area where all the homes and infrastructure will be built. Within this private space, residents, i.e., AWS resources, can communicate with each other securely and privately. Here's a mind map representing the components of the VPC. Virtual Private Cloud, VPC. CIDR Block. DNS Support. DNS Host Names. This mind map illustrates the components and their relationships within the VPC created using AWS CloudFormation. This AWS CloudFormation script creates a virtual private cloud, VPC, named my VPC with specific configuration properties. Let's break down the script. AWS template format version, September 9, 2010, specifies the version of the AWS CloudFormation template format being used. Resources. This section defines the AWS resources that will be created or managed by the CloudFormation template. My VPC defines an AWS virtual private cloud, VPC named my VPC. Type AWS EC2 VPC specifies the type of resource as an EC2 VPC. Properties defines the configuration properties for the VPC. Sitter block specifies the CIDR block IP address range for the VPC. In this case, the CIDR block is set to 10.0.0.0 slash 16, which allows for up to 65,536 IP addresses. Enable DNS support specifies whether DNS support is enabled for the VPC. When set to true, the VPC will have DNS resolution enabled. Enable DNS host names specifies whether DNS host names are enabled for the VPC. When set to true, instances launched in the VPC will receive DNS host names. This script essentially creates a VPC with a specific IP address range 10.0.0.0/16 and enables DNS support and DNS host names for the VPC, allowing instances within the VPC to resolve DNS names and have host names assigned to them. An analogy for this setup could be likened to planning and constructing a private neighborhood. The VPC acts as the neighborhood's perimeter, defining the area where all the homes and infrastructure will be built. Enabling DNS support and DNS host names is akin to ensuring that all homes have proper addresses and can communicate with each other effectively. This cloud formation script provides a simple yet essential foundation for building a network infrastructure within AWS, ensuring that resources can communicate securely and efficiently within the defined VPC boundaries.